The member for Kooyong is warned. The member for North Sydney has the call. My question is to the Prime Minister. Given that the Australian people never had an opportunity to vote on the introduction of the carbon tax, will he commit to scrapping the carbon tax, including the planned 5 per cent increase of the carbon tax on Monday, which he voted to reaffirm only yesterday? The Prime Minister has the call. Uh, I would say to the uh, honourable member, and thank you for his question concerning carbon pricing, uh, the carbon pricing has been a policy of this government since I went to the election uh, prior Order. to 2007. It was also, I seem to remember, the policy of those opposite. I, I, I might have had a little sort of uh, memory lapse there, but I seem to remember Mr Howard and various other ministers, including the member for Wentworth, standing up to defend uh, the importance of carbon pricing through an emissions trading scheme. Um, the uh, honourable members opposite will know I've long been committed to a carbon price, and, uh, and I, I would say. Ah, well, the Leader of the Opposition refers to his uh, twice, uh, twice uh, on two occasions, he on behalf of the Opposition voting against an emissions trading scheme in this House, despite the fact that they went to the previous election with exactly such a policy. Now, I would argue, in terms of some policy consistency, that those opposite have a little bit to explain on this question. Carbon pricing is now becoming more and more of a global reality. Um, uh, the um, uh, mention has been made in this place already of the uh, actions being taken in the People's Republic of China. Uh, and uh, This is important in terms of the debate traditionally raised by those opposite about global competitiveness. 